So it's starting to heat up in the Northern Hemisphere. We're getting close to summer. And the closer we get to spring and summer, the more prices on fragrances will go up, especially on discounters. So if you're looking for a new summer fragrance, now's the time to get it. So I'm gonna go over a list of 10 fragrances I think are perfect in the summer. I'm gonna start off with Aqua de Jo. And I mean like the entire Aqua de Jo family. This is Profumo. This is discontinued, it's hard to get nowadays. I would go with Profundo or Absolute. I think they smell interesting. They're alluring, great performance, great longevity, great DNA, sillage. They're just beautiful fragrances. I think Aqua de Jo is a staple, especially in the summer. Great DNA. I love this house. What Armani did with it is next level. It's just beautiful. And if you want Profumo, I hear the Parfum is similar. I tested it out. I didn't get a similarity. Yes, it smells like um, Aqua de Jo. I didn't get Profumo. I didn't get that incense that you get from this. So I'm not sure. Maybe it's just my nose. I didn't think they're very similar. But again, Parfum is a great version if you can't find Profumo. Next from Prada, again, kind of in that ocean vibes again, is Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. I love this fragrance. It is a great fragrance, great DNA, high compliment pulling fragrance, brings in great compliments, and it smells really good. The atomizer, it's pretty good. It really blasts out a good amount, so you're going to make sure you are covered whenever you wear this fragrance. Um, this is a bit synthetic, but again, Prada, they don't do huge synthetic fragrances. They bring in like other notes to make it work the way another fragrance would use synthetics. They'll make it work. So I highly recommend this. This is the original, the EDT. I would get the newer one. I think it's the EDP. I hear the performance is better. This one lasts about six hours. I wish it had better performance, but all oh, the DNA is just beautiful. Highly recommend. If you want something that's a great ocean type aquatic fragrance, check out Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. Next one is a niche fragrance and it's not actually the bottle I have because I don't have a full bottle of it. I have a travel spray of it. It's from Roja Parfum Elysium. Now this is Elysium Intense. Again, love this fragrance. It smells interesting. And again, Roja's, check out the atomizer. Like atom or pressurized, it really sprays it out. Oh, I love this fragrance. It's so beautiful, so interesting, so alluring. And the Intense has a little bit of, I believe, cardamom in it, which makes it a little bit more interesting than the original, but the original, oh, for the summer. This is probably my favorite niche fragrance for the summer. Highly recommend Roja Elysium. Now, yes, the price might be up there. So check online, see if you can get the best deal for your buck. See what you can find, because Elysium is definitely worth a pickup. So another niche one, and this one's a lot more affordable, because every once in a while, Joma Shop will have a sale on Mansara. I think Cedrat Boise is just perfection. This is a great fragrance, great DNA, sillage, longevity. Now for me, I get about six to seven hours. Other people have told me they get 12 to 16 hours. So again, depends on your skin, will depend on how well this will last. But, oh, you want to talk about a safe blind buy that's a niche? This is it. It is alluring. Great <laughs> atomizer. Again, bang for your buck. I get compliments with this almost all the time whenever I wear it. It is alluring. It's different. It smells amazing. The cap wouldn't go back on because it's magnetic and I didn't get it on the right area. Um, it is great. It has a nice little, like, lemon, almost lemon-lime vibe to it. I wouldn't say, like, a sadly lemon-lime, but just a little bit in that kind of family. So, like, distant cousins if that makes sense. Highly recommend it. And again, I got this for like 70 bucks. So you can definitely get a beautiful niche for a great price. Next one, next one I'm excited to test out. Unfortunately, it came out in November, so it wasn't the best time to wear it and it didn't perform well. So I'm not sure if I'm fully vibing with this Ocean Rush from Rayhan, but the DNA, oh my goodness. Alberto Marias did this. This is a beautiful fragrance, great DNA, great oceanic fragrance. Oh, it smells so good, so interesting. Here's the atomizer. It really sprays out a lot. Again, like from DNA alone, this is a top amazing summer fragrance and it's really affordable. This is not an expensive fragrance. So I'm hopeful that once it heats up, I can test it out and find out that it does work. Because in the cold, I think I was getting like four hours. So I'm hoping I can get that six to eight hour, that magic range for a summer freshie because this would be one I will highly recommend next year or this current summer, I should say, when it comes, because it's already February. So definitely looking forward to testing this out more in the heat. Now, another new one I just got, and this one, again, I tested out. It was negative one degrees, not the best wear, but everyone says it's a perfect summer fragrance. It's Rosasi Hawass. I cannot wait to wear it. In fact, it's my scent of the day today. Today, finally, is like 65. Cannot wait to test it out, see what I think. Highly, highly enjoy the scent. I fought it for a long time, because everyone said it smells like Invictus Aqua, and I don't like Invictus Aqua, so I didn't get it. And then I finally got it for a review and I was blown away by the scent because it has similarities, but that sweetness is pulled back. It's not the same level of sweetness. It's a much more 
fresh version of Invictus Aqua. So I think this is what Invictus Aqua should have smelled like. I am digging it. Love this so much. Cannot wait to test it out and see how it performs in the heat. Now, an oldie but a goodie, one that I recommend and have for a long time is this Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Oil Intense. This is a compliment puller. Ladies love this fragrance. In fact, if you look at that bottle, most of that was worn by my sister and her friend, not even me. They love this fragrance. It is so good. It's interesting. It's sexy. The Italians know how to make fragrances. Like, it's just so alluring. Here's the atomizer. It's a good atomizer. It's not the greatest, not the worst, but it still gets the job done. Um, performance is a problem. It lasts about six hours. But nowadays, it's affordable enough. You could just get it over spray or just bring it or bring a travel atomizer of it and just top yourself off every six hours, or every five hours. This is a great summer freshie. Smells alluring. Highly recommend this one. Now, another new one I got, this is also from Hawass, um, or actually I think it's Rayhan, technically. Um, it is Sahara, I think I'm saying it wrong. It is a beautiful fragrance. This is a clean soapy fragrance, but not heavy on the soap. This is not a heavy soapy fragrance. It just has like a cleanness to it. And it has what I feel like is grape. I get a grape DNA with this fragrance. It is beautiful, alluring, different. Smells so amazing. Great performance, great projection. Here's the atomizer, really good atomizer. Again. It is so different than other ones. Again, they have that like kind of like a grape DNA to it, almost like a grape Jolly Rancher, but in a soapy clean version. Oof, this is a beautiful fragrance. Highly recommend it. Cannot wait to wear it this summer. I think this may be one I wear a lot. It's very interesting. Now for performance, I'm getting about six to maybe eight hours, but closer on the six and then kind of quiets down a little bit once we get past six hours, but still a great six hour sweet soapy fragrance. The king of all summer fragrances, in my opinion, is this. It's Masoni Wave. This is a beautiful fragrance. I wore it heavily last summer. This is Versace Pour Homme and Chanel Allure Homme Sport mixed in one fragrance, but it performs about eight hours. You get eight hours of this fragrance. Decent atomizer, magnetic cap. I love it. What can I say? Like, again, I think this is the best summer fragrance, not just for your bang for your buck, period. I love this fragrance. Highly recommend it. Again, the closer to the summer we get, the more the price on this is going to go up. So if you want it, get it now. And then finally, my most recommended fragrance, period. I think this fragrance is perfection in a bottle. I think this fragrance works in all situations, all settings, all year, in fact. You can wear it year-round, wear it to a gym, wear it to the office, wear it to a date, wear it to a bar, wear it to church, wear it on an airplane, wear it anywhere you want, and it will work. It's Versace Dylan Blue. And let's be real, it's affordable. You can get it for like 40 bucks online. One of my followers got a $60 and they got a 200 mil. Like, holy cow, double this for 60 bucks. Beautiful. Now, it opens up with a little bit of lemon in it, but it is a perfect blue fragrance. In fact, I think this is the best blue fragrance on the market. And again, it's Italian. It has that little Italian flair to it. Oh, I love this fragrance so much. I get compliments all the time with it. Here's the atomizer. Really good atomizer. Again, Versace make good atomizers. They make good fragrances. In fact, I don't think there's a single Versace I don't like, to be honest. Um, again, this is a great fragrance. Highly recommend it. If you're looking for a starter fragrance even, I would go with this. I think this is a great fragrance to start with because it's so versatile. Then you can start piecing together a collection with this as the backbone of that collection. So that's my fragrances. What are your favorite fragrances when summer? Please comment down below. Cannot wait to read them. As always, this is Nubs Fragrance. Thank you for following and subscribing. You're helping me grow. I can't do this without you. Thank you so much. Hope you have a great day.